When entering the Phasmophobia lobby for the 8.1 update, we find hidden runes on the floor that can only be seen with a UV flashlight. What could these runes mean? I'm going to show you where to find these runes in the Phasmophobia maps and at the end, we will look at what secret the lobby holds. Be warned, massive spoilers ahead as we're going to look at where all the runes are hidden. If you have no interest in finding them yourself, let's get to it. Starting on Tanglewood, head to the master bedroom and go to the master bedroom closet. When you check behind the door, you will find our first rune on the wall with a riddle. Emerging from a watery grave, a quiet spot to watch the sunrise. This riddle references the Jason mask found in the water at the end of the pier at Maple Lodge campsite, but it specifies sunrise, so we need to make sure to do whatever the riddle tells us to do. In this case, we set the weather to sunrise. Once our items spawn in, grab the UV flashlight and head to the pier. Once you get to the end, turn on your UV and check the pier. You will find the same rune we saw in Tanglewood and it looks like it represents a letter. This rune equals the letter O. Let's mark it down and look for the rest. Next up, Willow Street. Head to the boys' bedroom and look at the whiteboard. This is where we find our next rune and riddle. Feed me black stones and the fire will grow. In return, I will heat this Snowden hell and home. This riddle references the boiler room in Sunny Meadows and it mentions snow. Once we set our custom settings to snow, we head to Sunny Meadows. Grab the UV and head to the boiler room. Check the bottom of the right boiler with your UV. There we will find the rune we saw in Willow Street. This rune equals the letter P. We will add it to the others and move on to the next one. Bleasdale Farmhouse. Head upstairs to the attic. Once you get to the first landing, look at the board in front of you. This is where we find our next rune and riddle. In light rain and snow, I never rest. Defending fruit from my foes above, bring me a light that keeps me warm. This riddle references the scarecrow found behind the house at Grafton Farmhouse. It also mentions light rain and snow, so make sure to set the weather to either one first. Grab a lit candle and head to the back around the house at Grafton. When we get close enough to the scarecrow, we can see the next rune that was shown at Bleasdale. This rune equals the letter N. Let's add it with the others and keep searching. The next rune can be found at Ridgeview. Head to the porch and look to the right of the window shutter. Here we find our next rune and riddle. In a place where hands must be seen at all times, I hide where water falls on command. This riddle is referencing police with showing your hands, which leads us to prison and water falling on command will take us to the showers. In prison, take your UV and head to bathroom B on the right hand side of the map. When we get to the last shower stall, look to the top right with your UV and you will find the rune we saw at Ridgeview. This rune equals the letter T. We are getting closer to figuring out what this all means, so let's keep going. Camp Woodwind. Make your way around the logs and go to the food tent. On the back left of the tent, we find our next rune and riddle. Peer out from a bedroom window onto a wall, and fog above the basement reveals all. This riddle is referencing a bedroom looking onto a wall above a basement, which is going to take us to Willow Street, and we need to make sure we set the weather to fog. Grab your UV and head to the master bedroom. You can see this rune without getting on the bed, but if you want to see it easier, move around to get onto the bed. Look at the wall outside with the UV and we see the same rune from Camp Woodwind. This rune equals the letter H. Let's add it to our other runes and letters and keep going. Next is prison. Open the truck doors and go outside to the right. The next rune and riddle is found right on the truck. Exit the building where learning occurs to find the start of a maze outside. The riddle referencing learning is gonna take us to Brownstone High School. Grab your UV and head outside to the back of the high school. No matter if you go out the right or left side, you will find arrows with your UV. These arrows will lead you to the rune we found at prison. This rune equals the letter E. At this point, we almost have all of the runes figured out. Edgefield. Open the truck doors and look right outside of the garage at the barrier. Here we find our last rune and riddle. Down the stairs to a chair that rocks, I support the house above. This riddle is referencing a rocking chair in a basement, which leads us to where we started, Tanglewood. Grab your UV and head to the basement of Tanglewood. If we look right above the rocking chair on the ceiling, we find the rune we saw at Edgefield. This rune equals the letter I. 
With all the runes found and each representing a letter, we can unscramble the letters to spell Point Hope. I would say it's safe to assume that this would be the solution and more than likely the name of the next map that we're gonna get in Phasmophobia. I'm feeling like this could be a lighthouse map, but who knows, only time will tell what it could be. Let me know in the comments what you think this might be, if you think it's a map, if you think it's something else, and let me know if you found anything else cool with this update. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one, later.